No, not fire, not here. No, 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 not the baby. Gotta move fast. I need a fire extinguisher. Fucking with me. When have I ever fucked around with you? Serge, it's actually you. In the flesh. It sounds like you can use a hand. I have literal fire to put out. Wait a minute, don't hang up. I'll call you back. It's 
almost like she's hard to look at. My eyes can't focus. I should probably tell Richard. I don't want to tell Richard. showing signs of progress. She is accepting the switch to bottle feeding and is no longer... Wait a moment. What's that? I, uh, I must be hearing things. I... I need more sleep. D Hello? What's that? Who's, th who's there? Is something... Something burning? Felicia? No, no, no. This... This is how it ends. Fucking house! It made Felicia burn her family alive? Why is it tormenting these poor people? I, I thought I was supposed to fix it. To stop it. What, what, what am I even doing here? I don't understand! I shouldn't... I shouldn't be here. This is all wrong. I gotta get out now. the pills. I'm ready to join you now. There's no one left for me. Give me a sign you're still here. A knock. Those footsteps. Your phonograph. 
anything. I need to move on, but I'm afraid. Please show yourself. Your sister in suffering. Felicia. This doesn't sound good. Goodbye, Mister. Shit! The rope, I need to head back there, stat. Felicia, I'm coming. None of this was your fault. Why are you doing this? What the hell is the point of any of this? old man handing her this locket. It was inscribed, Thy healing fingers hath my eternal gratitude. Imagine my shock when he turned and I saw it was Erwin, the town cripple, and there was no cane in sight. Who was that? And who was she talking about? This place feels... different. It's the same house, but... No, that's not possible. Hello? Cass, you need me on this, please. Here we go again. Need... Needing someone isn't a weakness, Cassie. Not for you, maybe. Needing is primal. Once you need something, you're not in control. You're desperate. And I desperately need you to be safe right now. And I'm not ashamed of it. Oh. Damn it. What the hell? Sorry, babe. Signal sucks. We'll pick this up later. Message sent. nickel on another throw. Save your strength for writing poetry, Shakespeare. Now hand me the baseball. I'm winning you that, Teddy. (laughs) 
<sighs> I asked Serge for his autograph. And then his phone number. I wrote it right on the ball. Hmm. I ought to be nicer to him. Jean? Jean, rise and shine, soldier. Your Betty Bird's made your favorite sausage and biscuits. Breakfast? touched your plate, my love. Go on, have some more. Your body needs the vitality for action. Can she see him? Now, sweetheart, don't you fret. I'll find that gun lickety split. No soldier worth his salt ought to carry those shoddy government-issued pistols. Plastic handles? Shh. Give me checkered walnut any day. Okay, I got this. Last time I just had to figure out what happened to Felicia. This time I need to find that gun. Easy. I'm gonna need to get up in that attic. Guess I'll have to find something to pull that door down. Oh, I'm certainly trying to keep busy, dear. You should see how tidy my stitching has become. But I need more. I'm not the putter around type, you know. Come, let me show you what I've been studying. I'm sorry. English? Anglais? Real smooth, Cass. Maybe Delphi can help. Moot a pas Password. <sighs> Time to get Sherlocky, Cass. Dear 
dearest Betty. When I was a child, the house unsettled me a bit too. It's always been a creaky, morose place with too many moths, but that's all. No voices had ever spoken to me, no visions ever assaulted my senses. The only ghosts I've encountered are out here overseas. But enough morbid talk. Your loving husband, Jean. Where is that gun? As a child, the house unsettled me a bit too. It's always been a creaky, morose place with too many moths, but that's all. No voices had ever spoken to me, no visions ever assaulted my senses. The only ghosts I've encountered are out here overseas. But enough morbid talk. Your loving husband, Jean. Connecting to a live community user. Hey there, Cassie. Nice to meet you. I'm Nick. Just started using this app. Pretty cool, right? Anyway, happy to help. Just waiting for the image to come through. Okay, there it is. Looks like a lockbox. Oh yeah, there's a little latch on the side there. Kind of hard to notice. Once you flip that, it should open. I'll be in your contacts now, so hit me back whenever. Okay. to a live community user. Hi! Again. It's got cat sitting for Fred, so I'll be here all day. Let's see, picture's coming in now. Yikes. Um, someone wrote the word Durham over and over on this mirror. Looks like it's written in lipstick. Weird. At least I hope that's lipstick. <laughs> oh, I need to get out more. Let me know if there's anything else I can help you with. Daddy, I hope your dear old friend can help a gal out. Come on, Corporal Roger Del Rey, I'm counting on you. <clears throat> 
Dear Mrs. Jean Martin, my dear, I remember your father well and am forever in debt to his many sacrifices in the name of freedom. He was a frank man, so you'll forgive me for being frank when I say that he'd roll over in his grave if he knew I put his sweet girl in the line of duty. What? Father. Father would be proud of me. Back to the drawing board. Go get him, Betty. <sighs> that can't be good. You don't belong over there. I do. When I find that gun, I am going over there. And there will be hell to pay! I wish I was paranoid about her baby. Is the house making Betty paranoid about what's happening to Jean overseas? Aha, the wasps. Boy, I'd love to slip into the cockpit of a twin beach. Hmm. Thank you for your interest in the Women Air Force Service Pilots. Unfortunately, all our WASPs must have their pilot's licenses issued before the start of the war. What that... Aha, the WASPs. Boy, I'd love to slip into the cockpit of a twin beach. Hmm. Thank you for your interest in the Women Air Force Service Pilots. Unfortunately, all our WASPs must have their pilot's licenses issued before the start of the war. Well, that's just foolish. I'm a fast learner and... Oh. Well, no use crying over spilt milk. Once more onto the breach. speech. Chantal. Maybe this would work at the door.
Chantal. as a war puts on a man gene, so don't get all bent out of shape. Take whatever comfort you need. I'm sorry I haven't found the gun yet, but I'll get it to you no matter what. I'm coming. Just you wait. Mother stowaway is such a harsh word. I know. Father always said if the I know. Father always said that the cargo holds are never policed. I j Yes. Alright, I promise. No, you do not need to come here. No, you do not need to come here. It's just ever since I found father's gun, I So she found the gun. Well, why the hell am I still here? From the office of John Treebook. Oh, oh yes, the fellow from the local recruitment office. I'm sure they'll have something for me to do overseas. Hmm. Dear Mrs. Martin, we appreciate your numerous requests to be placed in the field, but believe me when I say the most action you'd see is from behind a desk. Excuse me? Well, I'm sure you're a top-notch typist, so why don't you come down to the Boston typing? I wonder what an itchy trigger finger would do to a girl's word per minute. Oh, cheer up. Betty, you'll get there yet. <laughs> 